everyone. I am Miss Jean. I am one of the children's librarian at uh, Santa Clara County Library District. Uh, we are using Zoom to meet. Your camera and microphone are turned off. So if you have any questions, just type in the Q&A area at the bottom of the screen. If you are watching from Facebook Live, you can ask questions in the comments. I have the supply list here. So just in case you want to follow my instruction and do the greeting card at the same time, please gather these materials. Construction paper, clear plastic paper, foil paper, and another one piece of uh, letter size paper, then markers, scissors, pencil, ruler, glue stick, or Elmer's glue, and scotch tape. So we will do two projects today. I'm going to do the stained glass designed um, greeting card. And then the second part is Miss Jennifer, she will be doing the um, shaving cream snowman. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, when we talk about stained glass, we often think of the windows of churches. It may look like this one. You can see here, this one, it has... Uh, you need to uh, share your PowerPoint. Okay. I'll see your PowerPoint. So let me go back. So I'm going to share this one with you. You can take a look. And let's start with the... So these are the two crafts we are going to make for today. And these are the materials that we need. Uh, Jane, we have a question about Sharpies. Do they yes. need to have Sharpies? The Sharpies is a kind of markers that uh, is permanent. Uh, so if you don't have Sharpie, the regular markers will do. They are also good. I will show you in the movie that if you don't have a Sharpie, uh, um, the markers, the regular markers, uh, um, the differences, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So as I was talking about the stained glass window, and this, usually you go to the church, you will see like this arch, um, this kind of window that has uh, this kind of, pictures there, but uh, it doesn't have to be related to religion or Bible stories. So if you look at this picture, I went on vacation um, to Cuenca in Spain two years ago, and there is um, a museum, an abstract abstract art museum there. So the church by that museum has the stained glass window look like this, using abstract art, look like this. So I have found out other samples for you to take a look that you can get uh, some ideas. Like this one, there are some bees there, right? 
And here you can see, do you see the owl? And look at this one. You can do straight lines, you can do circles. There are a lot of possibilities. This one looks like abstract art. So I have made some symbols. For, for example, this one is a Christmas tree. And if you cut out a triangle and a rectangle, and you can make a Christmas tree like this. And the star. So look at this star compared with the next one. This is regular markers, okay? And the previous one I was using Sharpie. So you can see the with Sharpie, the color is more like a dual tone. And then with the markers, it's more softer. So if you don't have Sharpie, it is fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Jane, we also have questions about plastic paper or clear paper. If you can describe what it is or... Yeah, for the paper, um, the plastic paper, I use Mylar paper because library has a lot. But if you don't have it, uh, so for example, um, when you go to grocery shopping, there are some of the grocery bag that is uh, clear plastic paper. Uh, try to get the one that's not too soft. Uh, the one has carry a little bit weight. Uh, those clear kind of paper uh, plastic bag, you can use it, just cut it. Or use the sandwich bag at your house. Or if you have more sturdy ones than the sandwich bag, like a little bit bigger, or gallon size or quarter size of uh, storage bags, use them, they will do. So and the next uh, um, one that I'm going to show you is, you can see uh, I'm going to use this one as the symbol in my movie. So to show you how to do it step by step, you can see this design, I have all the straight color, uh, straight lines. But this one, the straight lines there, I added some circles. And this one is not straight line, they are all curved lines. This one has circles too, with curved lines. And this one, I just uh, draw a dragonfly. So you can do a lot of them. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the movie and let me get rid of the PowerPoint and show you the movie. I'm going to show you how to make a greeting card with stained glass design. First, we are going to need a nine by 12 inches of construction paper, a five by six inches of plastic, clear plastic paper. I like to use my... Do I have the sound there? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm able to hear it. You are able to hear it? Good. Let me just do it one more time. We can hear you on Facebook too. I'm going to show you how Good. to make a greeting card with stand. First, we are going to need a nine by 12 inches of construction paper, a five by six inches of plastic, clear plastic paper, I like to use mylar, but uh, you can get uh, like a grocery bag, the clear, the clear kind, or the storage bag at your house. A sheet protector is very nice. Just cut off the size. If you don't have any of these, a sandwich bag will do. 
The third one is a matching size of foil paper. The fourth one is a letter size of either white paper or other color paper will do. So we are going to fold this white paper in half and use it later. I will recommend to use Sharpie because the color looks better. Let me show you the symbol I made. This is the star design that I used the Sharpie. So the color is very lively, vivid. And this star is using other kinds of marker. It looks in a different way. So it's up to you. You want to use Sharpie or other marker. Now we are going to first fold the construction paper in half to make the greeting cards. And I'm going to cut a window. So I have a stencil here that I can trace it and make a window, an oval shaped window. You can use other shape. You can cut out a square shape, a rectangle shape, or sometimes it look like uh, in a church. On the top is a half circle, and then bottom is a rectangle. Or like the rose window that uh, has a lot of circles. Um, so after I draw a circle here, I'm going to push my scissors in the middle and then cut it from inside out and follow the line to cut it. So I have one already cut out here. The next thing we are going to do is to draw the designs on the plastic paper. So the easiest one is to use the ruler to make straight lines. So I'm going to kind of tilt my marker to make the line very thick. So you can see here is one line, but I want to use the tissue paper to clean it and then just draw it randomly. You don't need to have a certain rules. So any direction, like whatever you like. So I have one already finished here. You can see it's just randomly drawn lines. It doesn't have to be straight line. See, I have here, I made a pumpkin that I was using curved lines. And it looks very, very nice. After we finish the, the lines, Make sure that you flip it over to the other side. So when you color it, it won't get smeared. So I can use the red marker to color this part. Just color it in. I can use blue color to color this triangle. So let me show you one thing that uh, I already pre-colored. So it will look like this. And then the next step is 
to roll up this foil paper and then peel it very very carefully we don't want to tear it so after it opened up let's smooth it out and if i put the plastic paper on top of the foil look it's amazing right and then we are going to stick it inside this window if you like this or if you want to move it a little bit this a little bit okay so i like it this way and then we're going to fix it in place so use the tape to tape it let's make sure that it looks good it looks good after we taped it then we are going to use the white paper so matching this white uh, folded line with the constructions papers fold line to align it and then we are going to just use the glue stick to glue it this part to cover this half you use your hand for inside smooth this outside and then the other side now we close it up there is our greeting card so i have made other designs let me show you we have the stars we have this one, the first one that I showed you. And the pumpkin, right? And also, I also made one that is on the top is the triangle shape and the rectangle shape, it looks like a tree. So I just draw the line here and make the Christmas lights. So there are a lot of possibilities. Have fun. Okay, that is uh, the greeting card with the stained glass design. Now, Miss Jennifer is going to show you another fun project. Thank you, Jean. Okay, so for this craft, we're gonna make a shaving cream snowman um, with marbling, but I'll show you the marbling first and then we'll talk about the snowman. So these are the supplies you will need. So you will need um, a sh um, white shaving cream, the foam kind. Uh, you will need paper. Um, I'll be using car stock and I will be using um, water uh, washable paint and you can use also food coloring as well and paint brushes, a bottle of Elmer's glue, a bowl, some scissors, and something to spread the shaving cream. Um, you can use popsicle stick, ruler, um, cardboard, and also for swirling the colors, you could use um, spoon, skewer, toothpick, um, and then you also will need a baking sheet or a pan or a tray to put the shaving cream in. And for decorating the snowman, we will need buttons or other decorations that you may at home. For example, painter's tape, washi tape, ribbons, buttons, um, any, any decoration you think that you might want to use to decorate your snowman. Okay. We're gonna be talking about colors. What is primary color? So primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. 
And secondary colors, when you mix two of the primary colors, what do you get? For example, when you mix the red and yellow, you get orange, and the yellow and blue, you get the green. And when you mix the red and the blue, you get violet, purple. But what happens when you mix all the primary colors? You get brown. So what is marbling? Where do you see marbling? You probably will see marbling like on a countertop, um, but it's also used to decorate paper for calligraphy, bookbinding, collage, and stationaries. And marbling is the art of flowing pigments, colors on water, and then they transfer those patterns onto paper and also fabric as well. And marbling is a monotype meaning it has this one unique print. You cannot um, reproduce it. Um, and for example, fingerprint, er, all our fingerprint is unique and it's all has a different fingerprint, it's unproducible. And uh, so basically no two um, marble paint pictures are exactly the same. So an artist may create only one print. So we're gonna talk about two techniques today. One is Ibru or paper marbling, which is a Turkish tradition of painting on water. And it's a process where the paint is um, dripped onto the surface of water and they use either a fine brush or a metal comb to create a marble pattern. For example, you see on the left column, you see where well, the flowers, um, you'll see th th those are Hebrew um, art paintings. And then the, the column on the right is called Suminagashi, which is um, an ancient Japanese um, art form. And it's also known as ink floating. And it's a process in which sumi ink is dropped carefully to float on still water. And they either blow or fan the ink to form delicate swirls just like the ones on the right. And you can use calligraphy, or you can use it as a binding for books. And here are like some books that you guys um, can take a look at. There's some um, art lab books for kids, snowballs, paint lab for kids, and books about snowflakes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make marble Paper. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right, so inspired by these ancient techniques, we will be using shaving cream, the foam kind, and we're gonna use washable paint where you can use various colors. So I have blue, red, and green. And I also have here some food coloring that you can use as well. And we're also gonna use, I'm gonna use the toothpick um, to swirl the colors. And I have some paper, I have some cardstock. You can use various sizes. And I also have cardboard to scrape off the shaving cream and a pan. But before we begin, I wanna show you some pictures that we're gonna be doing. So I have here an example of the marble paint that I made with the various colors. And last week, or two weeks ago, you guys learned about snowflakes. And so I used different snowflakes and cut out different snowflakes and use marble um, to um, put colors onto these snowflakes. 
And then I will and then I will show you how to make snowman. And here are just some um, examples. All right. So let's get started. Oh, and before we begin, I also want to let you know that this project can be a little messy. So I would suggest to cover your surface uh, of what you're working on. And you might want to wear an apron and also some paper toilet roll to clean up any mess. All right. So first, what we're going to do, we're going to take your shaving cream and we're going to shake it and we're going to spread it across your pan, a thin layer of paint. And you want your tray to be at least as big as your paper. And you don't need a very thick layer of shaving cream because you're going to take your cardboard and you're going to smooth it out. Okay, and then I'm going to use my paper towel and wipe it off a bit. Okay, or you can scrape it against your pan so you can always use it for later. Okay, now we're going to drop a couple colors of our paint. And we're going to drop a couple drops. You can make some design on here by doing different colors. So I have yellow, I have some blue, and I have some red. And green. Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to take our skewer, or you can take a fork or a spoon, and we're going to make some swirling motions onto our paint. So you can make some sort of design, any design you guys like. So I'm just going to go left, right, left, right. And you can always go up and down, making some sort of swirl. And this is what's going to give you the marble effect on your paper. And you don't want to stir too much because you don't want, because if you do, then your colors will get muddled or turn brown. Okay, I like this design. Okay, next, we're going to take our paper, any size paper. For example, I have um, a paper that I folded in half. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold so let me get, actually wipe down my hands with a paper towel. And 
And we are going to take our paper and we're going to put it onto, we're gonna lay it flat onto the paint, onto the shaving cream. And you're gonna press it down. And you want to make sure that every part of your paper is touching the shaving cream. And you want to push, 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 and you want to wait for a few seconds. And you can take a look and see if it has got it. If there's some parts that are, you see still kind of white, you can press it further down. Okay, and once you lift it up, it looks like this. And, but you don't see the design yet because we're going to take our, we're gonna put the tray to the side and we're going to take our, we're gonna lay it, you can lay it on another tray or you can lay it on a piece of paper or um, whatever you like. And we're going to use our cardboard again. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start from the edge and we're going to scrape it down. And that's where you will see your marble design. And you can take what's on your cardboard and brush it against your pan. And what we're gonna do is, um, so you're gonna scrape it clean. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your napkin or your, and you're gonna dab it up. And it looks like it's not as clear, but you can always go back and use your, your, because this can use a couple of times. So what you can do is you can take another one. I have a small little sheet and you can press it down again. And you see the, some of the colors up there, but if you see there's some parts that you don't, there's some white area, you can go back and dip it in. And then we're gonna take this out again, and we're going to use the same, we're gonna use our cardboard, and we're going to scrape it And so we're gonna do this again. We're going to use this cardboard and um, brush it to the side. And then you start seeing your marble showing up.
Okay. So there it is. Um, once, and then you're going to use your paper towel and you can just dab it, the extra shaving cream off. And once it's dry, you'll see the marble clear and it will, um, and then you will see a clear picture of your marble. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to make your snowman using your marble background. So I'm just gonna clean up my area a little bit. It's good to have paper, paper towel on hand. So let me show you what we're gonna do to make our snowman by using marble paint as your background. Okay, so I'm going to take, so what you can do is while your paper is drawing, um, I'm going to show you how to make your puffy snowman. First, you can take a bowl. I'm going to use uh, my measuring cup, but you can use your bowl. And we're going to spray shaving cream, equal parts shaving cream, and glue. So I'm going to, so I have shaving cream, and then now I'm going to use some glue. And so I have both of them in here. And now I'm going to mix, mix with a, with a paintbrush or you can use a spoon and mix it, mix it, mix it all together. And it'll become very sticky. It'll become stiff like whipping cream. Okay, now we're going to make our snowman. We're going to make two circles or three, you can make two or three circles. And for the younger kids, if you need assistance, um, the adults, you can help make two circles and then the child can fill in those circles. So let's make our circle here. So I'm gonna make the head first. Okay, so there's the head, and now I'm gonna make the body. It'll be a bigger circle. So you can make a bigger circle like this. Okay. Once you get the shape of your snowman, it is time to decorate. So whatever decorations you have um, at home that you want to decorate, feel free to bring those out. And I'm going to use a couple different um, supplies that I have. And I'm going to show you what we can do. So I have here some buttons, pom-poms, and googly eyes that I wanna to add to my snowman. So you can use whatever you have at home to make your snowman. And also, I'm gonna also use paper um, for either my hat or uh, my nose, uh, for the snowman's nose. So let's start decorating. So I'm going to maybe give it some googly eyes. I'm gonna start with the googly eyes. I'm gonna give two eyes. 
And then I'm going to give it some buttons. So I'm going to use some pom-poms, but you can also use buttons as well. Uh, Jennifer, while you adding your decorations, we have a question. Um, what is the reason for mixing shaving cream with the glue? Does it not prevent the glue from drying? Yes, so give it like a, like a puffy um, look at the end because once it sits overnight, your picture will puff up. For example, in my picture, uh, over overnight, my puff my my uh, snowman starts to puff up. It gives like this puffy look. Cool, thank you. Yeah, so the more you put the glue or the the shaving cream and glue, um, the puffier is going to be. So uh, I put less um, on. For this one, so it's less puffier than this one. Okay, and now I'm going to add some, I'm going to add a nose. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to use my scissors. and make a nose. Okay, so I have a nose right there. And then for the mouth, I probably will just use some buttons that I have. So I'm gonna use different color um, buttons but you can also use um, any other materials like pom-poms or um, beads, whatever you have at home. Okay, so kind of looks like this, like the mouth. And then how about let's give it some arms. So I'm going to take another sheet of paper. I have a yellow one and I'm just going to put some, but you can also use like twigs or you can use uh, pipe cleaners, whatever you like. So I have two arms. Here. And then let's give it a hat. So what I did was um, for your hat, you can um, use tape, you can um, use different things for the hat, but I'm going to cut out a hat. Let me use actually a different color. I'm gonna use green. And we're going to cut it like this. And we're going to move it in. And go high. And go back out this way and that way. So it goes like this, and we can even use the same materials, and we can, you know, put it behind here. And put it right on top. So it looks like this. So you can send this as a greeting card, give it to someone you're thinking of. Um, you can um, do whatever you like with this picture and you can do different pictures. You can also use, um, you can even use um, the snowflake 
and use the marbling effect and put them on a paper so then um, it has some sort of design on the, on the card. But feel free to let your imagination go wild and be creative. So that is how you make it, um, the marbling and with the puffy snowman. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go back and talk about our books. Okay, so I have talked about, so well, you know, if you guys want some inspiration, there's different books about paint labs for kids. There's different designs of what you can use for um, painting. Um, there's art lab if you want to know about printmaking, um, or if you want some ideas about snowman, there's a picture book about snowballs. And also um, with the snowflake, there's a secret life of a snowflake. There's a lot more books, but here are just some ideas for you to get your inspiration. Okay, and then we would love to see what you guys have made. Um, you see here that a lot of you guys have posted your pictures on our art gallery page. Um, looks like Lucina made some candy craft and Oliver made some pointillism that we did, same. And um, we also have Arun did some printmaking and Flynn who made pointillism and also he did some random art, which is great. We could do whatever makes, um, you know, that inspired your um, imagination. We will love to see your gallery. So here is um, the link um, to upload to our Kids Art Gallery, um, Art Club Gallery. And please just um, put your uh, first name and a picture of your art. Great, well, thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you guys have fun and I, and we would love to see the artwork um, that um, you guys made. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.